definition, peer pressure is an influence a group or an individual gives that encourages others to change their attitude, values, or behavior. Look on the internet. Peer pressure seems like an easy thing to spot, right? Well, every day, people are impacted by their surroundings, whether they know it or not. The root of peer pressure is almost always trying to make everyone happy. People naturally try to please others and can end up in situations they wouldn't normally be in if they are surrounded by another group. Most peer pressure stories from teens contain the same message. They start off saying that they felt obligated to not disappoint their friends and didn't want didn't and didn't want to become an outcast. Kids in their teen years are still trying to figure themselves out. We're mixed with hundreds and hundreds of kids our same age in this strange place we call school. School, where your whole life revolves around your friends, yet at lunch everyone talks about each other. At least for kids anyway, peer pressure seems to be around every corner. Even though adults and adolescents both face peer pressure, we don't necessarily notice adult peer pressure as much as we un know, understand kids' peer pressure. This is an expectation we have in our society. We think that adults should be able to overcome peer pressure so easily that we don't notice it. We need to change this expectation. We need to change peer pressure. Adult peer pressure is visible but not always acted on. Roses are red, violets are blue. Peer pressure is everywhere. Obama experienced it too. There are many politicians in our society that experience peer pressure regularly as much as adults and kids. Betsy St. Clair, a politician and a professor at the University of Chicago, says that it is especially present peer pressure when casting votes for election. She says that her family and her friends both imp all impact her opinion on whether she should vote for one person or another. The people you care about can impact you what you decide to do for the better also. My mom experienced positive peer pressure. She was surrounded by kids in extracurricular activities, planning to go to college, and overall making responsible choices. She said that that motivated her to continue her positive path and encourage others to do the same. But peer pressure is like an abusive relationship. You don't know you're at the climax until you fall in. Everything can seem fine until one major event that can cause you to feel like a rug has been pulled out from underneath you. Like a donut. Donuts can be a delight. Peer pressure can be oh so nice. But donuts can also make you vomit. Well, peer pressure can cause some conflict. True, but I don't think that sends, that sends our message. Let's try this again. Picture a donut. No, not a munchkin, the one with the hole in the middle. Picture a donut. What do you think of as you see a scrumptious icing on top? Well, I can tell you one thing. What I think of as I picture a donut is peer pressure. You see, the actual donut, that represents your peers. They're big, forcing, and scary. They're plain, just like the dough of a donut. The hole in the donut, yep, that's you right there. You make a space right smack in the center of all those peers so you tell them that their opinions don't matter in your life. You do what you want, not what others want for you. Finally, the icing. The icing represents change, changing yourself, because you first start off as being part of all those peers to everything they have to say. You feel obligated to follow their words. But then you change and become an individual as confident as any other. Peer pressure, like a donut. Okay, donuts are one thing, but dealing with humans is another. Overcoming peer pressure takes time and practice with being assertive with others. But that time will be worth it once the weight of having to meet other people's expectations is lifted off of your shoulders. See, peer pressure creates stress and anxiety. We mostly hear story about stress, stories about stress from a long day at work or math homework. So the key to overcoming that type of anxiety is to change your perspective on it, almost entirely. Peer pressure always gets taken as something negative, but what people don't know is that it can be positive or negative. What this means is we things occur for a reason, whether we choose it or not. In this case, teenagers don't decide. Not only do classmates affect a person, but the parents do as well. Most teenagers make their decisions based off the decisions their parents made and eventually end up regretting it. So if a mom or dad did drugs or made a bad decision as they got older or they continued doing it, it's most likely chance that their child will think that it's perfectly fine to follow it. And if
if a mom gets pregnant at a young age, their daughter will most likely think that it is perfectly acceptable to follow that custom. There are many people in humanity that can change an individual's life, but only you are able to decide whether or not to let them go through with it. Will you? That's the question everyone should know how to answer. Thank you.